this is May Yu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Thank you for all your name ideas and fun theories in my previous video. I had a lot of fun reading all of your comments, and I also had fun making that video. Since many of you wanted to see more, here's part two. So today, I'm going to be coloring Elsa, Anna, and Olaf by picking my markers blindly. So these are the markers. As you can see, I have a lot of different colors in there. And just like last time, there are black, some dark grays and browns. But I also have some colors that are similar to what Elsa, Anna and Olaf has. Uh, but I will not be able to choose because I'm going to pick every single marker blindly. And once I have that marker used, I'll put it aside here so then I can't pick it anymore. Okay, so I have no idea how these characters are going to look like at the end of this video. It could look completely different and completely wild, or I might pick some colors that are kind of similar. So this is all up to chance and we'll see. Okay, so the first part I'm going to color, it would be Anna's eyes. So let's pick a color blind. <laughs> see which one. Okay, I choose this one. Oh, Viridian. So it's like a dark green. I'd be really careful when I color in her eyes because it's such a small area on the coloring page. And this tip is not very thin, so I have to be really careful. I don't want the ink to bleed too much on this paper. Okay, so I'll set this aside. Next would be Anna's lips. Okay, I picked this one. <laughs> it's warm gray nine. <laughs> so it's like a dark gray. So again, I have to be really Okay, there. Whew. All right, next would be Anna's sleeve and then the top part of her um, clothing underneath and then this part down here minus the trim. So all of that would be the one color and I'll also use the same marker to color the top part of her cloak. Anna does have a lot of details in um, this coloring page and in the movie she has a lot of different intricate designs on her clothing too. So I think for this video I'm going to summarize a few different parts in her. Otherwise I think this video is going to be a little bit too long. So I'll just summarize a few of the different areas for Anna. Okay, so. Here we go for the next marker. This one, green gray. Okay, so this is our second green, or gray rather. <sighs> okay, so I'm coloring the sleeve first. All right, now I'm going into the clothing underneath her cloak. I think this is starting to look really interesting because it looks like I have a lot of these gray colors happening. I can't wait to get to her cloak and her hair and skin. Okay, so that is color number three. Okay, so Anna's looking pretty different uh, right away. She's got a couple of grays in there already. And I think, you know what, this could be a good thing because it's using up some of the gray colors in here. So maybe we don't have to have a lot of grays for the other characters. Okay, so here's another color for Anna. Okay, I picked this one. Violet dark. Okay, so this is a pretty dark color. I remember I picked this one out for um, 
the previous video too. I can't remember which part it is, but I remember it's a quite a dark color. So I want to use this and go into the details inside her clothing. It actually looks pretty interesting because I have this dark violet and it breaks up the gray that I just did. So I colored in some of the trim in her outfit underneath and I'll go into the trim design in her boots as well. So basically I do want to summarize a lot of the details in the character's areas to color. I don't want this video to be too long. All right. Okay, now we're getting into Anna's cloak. And in the movie, it has this really pretty purpley color. I hope I can get it. I do have like a pretty close color, this one, but because this is gonna be blind pick, I have no control. So let's see. Okay, I picked this one. Is it the purple color? It's warm gray fine. <laughs> she has a lot of gray going on. Okay, well, you know what? It could be good because the grays could match. I think it does look pretty interesting. I think I'll leave some of the areas in the cloak uncolored like that so then it's nicer and easier to see the lines. I don't want everything to look like it's all this big blob. So I'll just leave a little bit of the page uncolored here and there. I'm trying not to color outside the lines. It's pretty tricky because this paper tends to bleed more in the paper that I used to use. Oh, let's get it around Olaf's head. Okay, so there is her cloak. Uh, this is really different from the original. I don't know how I'm able to pick so many grays this time. Like. Did I, did I pick any grays last time in the previous part? I don't know, but like this is just like gray, gray, gray. But it's really nice also because we have different parts of the uh, character with different grays. And that means there are more colors that are not gray for the other characters. So let's see. Okay, next is going to be Anna's skin. So I'm going to color her face, her neck, and her hand. And I really hope I don't pick another gray. <laughs> All right. Okay, I picked this one. <gasps> oh, it's baby skin pink. What are the chances? Okay, this is this is this is really good. Ah, I'm so happy. All right. I am getting really excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is her skin. I'm coloring in her face first. And it is so, so good that I have a peach color. Okay, hooray! So we have honest skin, but this means I can't pick this one for Elsa! Okay, so I noticed on my table that a few markers have actually ran away from the pile. So I have these four markers, I kind of jumped overboard. So I'll just put them back in. And we'll continue. So we have Anna's hair. And I don't know which colors I'm going to pick. But let me know in the comments, 
What color do you think I should pick? Or what color would you like to see on his hair? Let me know. And in the meantime, I'm going to <laughs> choose another one. Okay, this one. Oh, leather brown! That's pretty good! It's not that far away from the original. Okay, so... This looks like... a brown that is not so... Orangey. I think Anna's hair in the original is it has more orange to it. So this one has more of a brownish tint. Okay, we're done. Anna's looking very different. I wonder how her sister is going to turn out. And these are the colors that I have left. So we have more bright colors. There are still a few grays and I still have the black in there. Um, so yeah, let's see. First would be Elsa's eyes. This is it. Oh, grass green. That's really bright. <gasps> Wait, she has dark green and she's going to have grass green. So that kind of matches. Be really careful. I don't go outside the lines. Oh, they match. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Okay, now it would be um, Elsa's lips. So again. This one. <laughs> Cerulean blue light. Elsa's gonna have blue lips. <laughs> mm. I think the cold is getting to her. <laughs> oh my. Oh, okay. I am not used to seeing that. <laughs> okay, now for um, Elsa's clothes, I'm gonna do it piece by piece. So first, I'm gonna color in the shoulder piece here along with her collar. So that's all gonna be one color. Okay, this is the one. Oh, it's pale lilac. That's very different. I don't think I've seen Elsa with pink on before. Like she has, she has blue and she has, um, I think she had like a teal green in that short film. I can't remember if she had any pink or purples on her before, like a light pink or purple. No, I can't remember. I think that was blue. Okay, so that's pretty different. Because Elsa in her original outfit, she has like different shades of blue throughout. If I were to color this without the blind pick, so I would have just chosen different shades of this color. For example, different pinks and purples to just make her whole outfit like that with the different shades. Uh, but because this is going to be blind pick, I can't choose different shades of pinks and purples. I'm just going to go section by section and blindly choose different colors. And I think this is gonna be really interesting because I know this is gonna look really wild. Okay, so the next part I will be blind picking a color for would be this part here, the top, and then into the sleeves. Okay, this one. Oh, it's vivid red. Whoa, Elsa's not really frozen anymore. 
Okay. Well, that's really bright. Ooh, that looks really cool. So I was wondering, what if I actually picked warm colors for her outfit? Then it's like Elsa doesn't have ice powers anymore. She could have like fire powers or something. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, so we have that area done and now I'm going into this piece inside. So the inside part of her dress. Okay, I picked this one. Spring green. That is a interesting color combination. <laughs> All right, now it will be this part here in the middle. This one! <laughs> it's cool gray six. <laughs> but I think because they are sisters, maybe Elsa does need to have some kind of gray on her. Okay, now let's go into this part of her dress. Okay, this one. <laughs> Mint green light. Oh, that is really different. I'm going to leave a little bit of light around this area here so it doesn't all look too much of the same. Oh yeah, she's got these little shards as a trim along her dress so I have to be really careful now to color around these little areas. They are super tiny and I have to watch out that the tip of my marker doesn't accidentally go into those small, very, very small places. Because I would need to pick another color for those little areas inside. Okay, she's looking really different. <laughs> okay, so what do you think of Elsa so far? Let me know in the comments, but we are not done yet. I still have the little shards in here on the bottom, her boots, the cape, and then the skin and hair. Okay, I'm gonna choose one color for Elsa's pattern on her dress. And I think originally she has like a few different colors in the patterns. But because this coloring book kind of just summarized each pattern as like this one gray shape, I'll just choose the one color for it. Okay, this one. It's chocolate! <laughs> That's really different. I think this kind of video is so interesting and fun. It's because, you know, this this totally unknown thing about picking these markers. Like, I have no idea which color I'm gonna end up with. And the more colors you choose, like the combination of all these unknown colors, is just it just gets more and more interesting. I also think that that makes it really fun. And now that I look at this chocolate brown with this mint. It reminds me of chocolate and mint ice cream, which is really yummy. I don't know, that's just, that's the, like the kind of vibe I'm getting from this. Okay, so we have done these patterns and now I'm gonna do the little shard bits on the edge of her dress. Okay. 
Here we go. Ooh, vivid purple. So I think they're gonna stand out. I have to be really careful because these little shards are super tiny and the lines are really thin and this paper bleeds a lot so I'm trying my best to stay within the lines but I yeah I, I need to just really concentrate and go very very Okay, so far so good. <laughs> I'm staying within the lines. Okay. I got the shards all in without going over the lines. Yes. All right, so now it'll be her boots. So let's pick another color. Okay, this one. Ooh, pale blue. I wonder how this is gonna look like with all the colors. Okay, and now for her cape. This is the one. Cosmos! So this is like a really peachy pink, it looks like, from the cap. Oh, that's really different. So Elsa looks like... It looks like this Elsa is like the warm version of the original. Because I do have a lot of warmer colors in here. I think it matches her top. All right, so... Okay, now we're gonna color Elsa's skin. I don't know which colors I'm gonna have. These are the colors that are left. So lots of bright colors. Uh, there is two more grays and one black. We'll see. This one, <laughs> lemon yellow. <laughs> wow, I've got a lot of warm colors for Elsa. I think her yellow skin makes her blue lips really stand out. Okay. She looks very warm. One more thing to color for Elsa and that's going to be her hair. Okay, this one. gonna match her lips oh this is so cool okay We are done. The two sisters. Ta-da! <laughs> now for Olaf. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to color Olaf now. And there are going to be five different parts to him. So first going to be the carrot. And then the little eyebrows. Then his open mouth. 
and then his buttons along with his arms and then I'm gonna color his body and legs but I don't have white these are the colors I have left so I, I wonder what colors I'm gonna choose for the carrot I still have my fluorescent orange and my marigold so I hope one of them gets picked <laughs> okay I picked this one. Oh, it's vivid green. <laughs> um, why would his carrot be green? Uh, <laughs> wow. That's a very special carrot. <laughs> okay, now for the eyebrows. <laughs> Okay, this one, flesh eyebrows. <laughs> okay, they're gonna be really light. <laughs> and now for the mouth. <laughs> Okay, this one, <laughs> marigold. <laughs> I have to, I have to, wait, I have to, I have to calm down and like stop shaking my hand. <laughs> this is way too fun. <laughs> Carrot cracks me up. <laughs> Alright, now for the um for his buttons and the arms, because in the original I think they're all black, so I'll just choose the one color for these areas. <laughs> this one <laughs> fingers are really small <laughs> and my nose is running <laughs> okay so there's one arm oh my <laughs> I'm sorry I just I can't control it right now <laughs> this is just too funny Okay, there, ta-da! And we have one more, but I need to, um, I need to, I need to blow my nose. Oh no, there goes my next box. <laughs> yeah. So 
Some of you have been wondering what kind of markers I used for my previous video. They are touch markers and I have some links in my video description in case you want to buy some from Amazon. Okay, so we have one more thing to color that is Ola's body including his little legs. These are the markers I have left. So I still have black and pale yellow. I hope I don't pick them, but let's see. <laughs> I picked this one! Oh! Ice blue! Okay. Okay, so... I wonder what happened to all of them. <laughs> His body makes his buttons look even brighter. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think of this piece? Let me know in the comments and uh, please share your fan theories and stories. They are really fun to read. If you want another video like this, let me know as well. And thank you for watching. <laughs> this is really colorful. In case some of you want to uh, get some of my art feature merchandise, like this one here and this, you can go to my online store. I have links in the video, video description and in the end card. Thank you for watching everyone. This was really fun and I will see you next time on Fun Friday. <laughs> Bye.